Hi everyone and welcome. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Ashley and today's beautiful energy session is going to be about the relief of addiction withdrawals or early recovery withdrawals. Just trying to move through that energy, trying to push through and really find some balance and some some peaceful uh, moments while you're trying to move through and recover. Um, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of supplements that I take that have really, really been helpful for me in my own recovery. So if you'll give me a second, I'm just gonna just clear you off really quickly and I'll share that with you. Hope you guys are all doing so well today. It's so beautiful out. If it's sun shining and gorgeous where you are, go outside and sit in the sun. The sun is just downloading with these beautiful healing codes. It'll help you. Vitamin D is so important in recovery as well. So if you aren't in a place where a lot of sunshine is, make sure you get a vitamin D supplement. That will help the brain so very much. Get that energy off of you from the day. We're going to actually use another feather in this session as well. It's going to be a raven feather. All right. So let me show you these really quickly and then we'll get into those healing. So B12, awesome. It will really, really help you. It doesn't matter if you use this... Um, brand or not but b12 helps me so much with my energy and just um, after coming off of you know whatever substance you're using we we're, we're so drained like mentally physically emotionally we need to be able to have something that helps us to to elevate us and, and gives us that little boost of energy so try b12 if if you want um, another thing that i live by every single day for the last 10 years is activated charcoal like I said, it doesn't matter if you use this brand, there's so many brands out there on Amazon and at your local like vitamin shop or whatever it may be, but it's activated charcoal. This will help detox your bodies. It will help your gut. It will help oh, so many things. It just like, it removes all the toxins out of your body and helps you to really get back to your, your natural state of being. However, if you're taking any prescription medication, just know that this, this, um, charcoal will take the prescription medicine out as well because it sees that as a toxin so be really careful with that check with you know if you're on prescription check with that I just wanted to just make you guys aware of that activated charcoal is a thing and that it is so helpful for your body to detox all the toxins we live in a toxic world constantly with you know just everything um, coming at us so it's so good to detox your body you know every now and again I use it all the time because I used to have a lot of gut issues and stuff just from my lifestyle and this has literally helped me so much the other thing um, that is super powerful for me is Harataki powder um, I take a teaspoon every day um, it will detox the pineal gland um, it is very helpful for your stomach um, I love this I've been taking this for 10 years now I literally just scoop up a teaspoon in my mouth every morning um, along with my another shake that I make um, but do it however you want um, just to do a little bit of research as well you know look it up and check it out it's been so good for me and um, I would probably take this every single day for the rest of my life as long as it's available <laughs> so anyways yep there's those three and I can put these links like in the description if you guys want to check them out so all right let's begin so this session, I'm going to intend that you find relief in your addiction, in your recovery, in your early recovery, in your late recovery, however long you've had. Um, I just want this to relieve you. In so many ways, um, I believe all of us are addicts. Um, we're all addicted to something, right? 
and so maybe this can help give you um, relief from those nagging feelings of needing something of wanting something of of you know the drink or the drug just nagging at you or feeling triggered and wanting that you know when we get triggered we have to really understand what our triggers are and protect ourselves we have to make sure that you know if mom upsets you that when you go see mom you prepare yourself before you go see mom you prepare yourself mentally you make sure that you're at the highest you know good mood that you can be in and as soon as you know you start to get triggered walk away you know go take a drive go take a walk whatever it is to protect yourself that keeps you from running to that substance um, and honestly if it is mom or any other family member you have to do what's best for you and you have to take care of yourself so if you need to stay away from mom for a little bit stay away from mom or sister or brother or whoever it is that is you know constantly um, nagging at you or triggering if it's your husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or wife I'd don't know what to tell you but you know just make sure that you protect yourself um, in, in any way shape or form that keeps you from running back to that um, that substance so yeah so this healing is going to be specifically for that if you want to take a couple of deep breaths and we'll get started I'm going to be using light language this beautiful feather The ravens, the crows, they go very deep in healings. They get all the darkness, all the negative stuff. They transmute it. That's why when you see dead things on the road, you'll always see crows, ravens, turkey vultures, things of that nature cleaning it all up. They always clean up the negative energies. If I do really hard, um, intense healings. I'll see them flying by the house all the time. They're coming in to clean up the energy. They're shapeshifters. They move in and out of dimensions. Most people don't like them, but they're pretty cool. Maybe you'll see them in a different light and know that they're there to help transmute the, all the negative energies. into that heart space, clearing out that negative energy, we hold all that in there. It's almost like the ravens and the crows, they just, they take off that extra, like, layer of ickiness. <laughs> Let's begin. Take some deep breaths and here we go, my friends. I'm actually seeing like the crow eyes just staring right back at me. So get ready for kind of a deep healing. <laughs> here we go, let's begin. Opening up that crown. Opening up. Start allowing that light to start flowing into the crown. We're going to intentionally target those addictive thought patterns, those addictive nagging obsessive thought patterns let's just dissolve and transmute them into light peaceful thoughts 
creating new pathways, new ways of thinking, new higher ways of thinking, new source ways of thinking. Soften those thoughts, bringing in those loving thoughts. Those loving, higher vibrational thoughts, those creative thoughts, those thoughts of that maybe you had when you were a kid, of thoughts that, you know, you wanted to be this or that. Let's bring those back online. Those thoughts of you can do and be anything. Because you can. Absolutely. Absolutely can be anything you want to be. It's your life. You get to choose. It's just up to you to believe. You can believe that you're a piece of crap drug addict or you can believe that you are a freaking king or queen in your own world and become that. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It doesn't matter their judgments. It doesn't matter. They don't live your life. Creating new pathways, new ways of thinking. Just allow the universe, that universal energy force to flow into your mind, to give you higher thoughts. Crack open those ideas that have been lying dormant within you. Allow those ideas and thoughts and things to come to the surface and start thinking about them. Start allowing them to come through. Moving down into the Paniyo gland. Just allow your pineal gland to open up and receive those ideas and those thoughts. Just move out all that negative, darker energy that has been plaguing you in your addiction or in your recovery. All those obsessive thoughts. Our minds are so powerful. They can think and think and think and think and think and think us right into destructive addiction. But they can also... Your mind is so powerful that it can literally create anything that you want. Billion dollar companies, million dollar companies, um, whatever, whatever you want. A beautiful relationship, a beautiful family, a beautiful job, a beautiful car, whatever you want. Your mind can create anything. It can create the pathway to get anything that you want. So just train your mind to focus on the good focus on the good moving out the bad focusing on the good transmuting the bad focusing on the good let's bring in that energy to transmute any and all of these negative patterns moving out anything that does not serve you getting into that pineal gland just allowing these sacred birds to come in and clear out that energy. We're going to move that energy out from the third eye down into the throat. Also permeating all of your facial chakras as well. We're going to clear out all of those thought patterns that turn into speech patterns that say I'm an addict, I'm this, I'm trash, I'm a piece of crap, I'm um, I'm fat, I'm 
ugly, I'm poor, I'm whatever. All of your I am's are so important. Stop saying that to yourself. Everything in your body, you have like 70 trillion cells in your body and every one of them is listening to the mind. So whatever the mind is saying, that's what all of these cells in your body are going to do. So if you're constantly downing yourself and saying you're this or that, your, your cells are listening. So just say good things, even if you don't believe them. It took me a long time to believe that I was beautiful or that I had anything to offer to the world. So long, too long to know that I am worthy of everything that I want and I am blessed and I am beautiful and I am this and I am that. You know, it took me a long time, but I just kept practicing every day. I am this, I am that. And maybe I'm not beautiful to the whole world, but it doesn't, I don't care what people think. I am, I love me. I am beautiful to me. I look in the mirror and I say, I love you. You're beautiful because I know who I am. And it took me a long time, but it's, now it's just normal you are beautiful you are here you are smart you are you have genius in you you have so much to offer this world no matter what you've done it doesn't matter let's just move all this junk out of the throat all of these terrible words things that you don't need to say to yourself anymore just give it to me i'll take care of it start replacing those negative words the beautiful words pushing them out like a day Bring in the light, healing codes for the throat of the collective, please. Just feel those healing codes coming into the throat, allowing that pathway to open up so that you can connect with the head and the heart, so that your speech will always be full of compassion and grace and to effectively say what you need in this world because you deserve to speak your truth and to tell people what you need we've sat and we've allowed people to run us over and to tell us what we need and that's not right you you're living your own life you deserve to speak your truth and and to allow your truth to be just that your truth we're not all the same we weren't made the same we're not supposed to be the same we have different views different perceptions and we are able and allowed to express whatever we want there is no governor on your mind none nobody can govern your mind and what you think and what your thoughts are and what you want to create in this world nobody can govern that except the soul the source that bees that created you and that source energy god whatever you want to call it gave you free will to think and be and create whoever you want to be it's your choice nobody else's we're going to bring this energy down to the heart please Let's go ahead and just create a pathway, just right in the throat. If you can imagine this beautiful white light is just flowing down, down, down into the heart, which is going to flow right out. 
kala ko pa ati si ni mata ko to ade kala ko de si ni mi ju ko ko da ade si ni mi chi ma to ade pata ko to ade si ni mi te ko ko da ade kine ko pa ati si ni si ni mata ko da ade kala ko da ade si ni mi tru ko to ade ade si ni mi ju ko ko do ade si ni ike si ni mata ko ko da ade pata ti si ni mata ko da I'm like seeing these symbols coming through from here and just flowing down. It's like these beautiful, like、um, Greek. Well, I guess it would be like the Greek alphabet. Is what I'm seeing in my mind, and it's almost like it's just creating like boop, 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 right into the heart and just. Alaka pati si ni mata ako do ede, kada kabuto si ni makolo kolo ede, kada kabuto si ni matu kolo kade. All that ancient energy, all that ancient, all these ancient symbols, all that ancient knowledge, just allow it to flow into you and start activating that within you. You're all ancient. You're all old. <laughs> You're all just recreated. Now it's time to step into that power. Step into that energy. Step into who you were, bringing in that energy, and then being fully embodied into who you are now. Bringing in all those gifts and that wisdom and that knowledge and connecting to it. And allowing it to flow through you. Kala ka pati si ni mita ako da ade. Kada ka pati si ni mita kala ko da ade. Kada matu si ni mita kala ko do ade. Alay pati si ni mita kala ko do ade. I'm gonna call in the healing codes for the heart, for the collective, please. Anyone who is watching this. Kala ka pati si ni mita ako da ade. One second. Pati ni mata uti si ni mo kolo kolo ade kapati si ni o pati si ni o pati ni kolo kini ade pati si ni mar kanto si ni mata luka ta ade kara ata si ni o kolo kolo ade ati si di pati kolo kolo ta ade thank you thank you feeling very interesting and this one I'm seeing a bunch of codes. Like、different types of codes. In this one, I'm seeing this huge red heart, and it's got a blue flame, just blazing around this beautiful red heart. So prepare yourselves, and let's allow this energy to flow through. It's always your choice if you want it or not. I love using the blue flame. Hala kapata si ni matara ko da ede, si ni matara ko da ede. Hala kati si ni mi si ni mi chikala ko da ede. Hala kabi si ni matara ko da ede, pati si ni ikono ko da ede. Hala kati si ni mu ko da ede, si ni matara ko da ede. Kada kapata si ni mi chikala ko da ede. Just allow this energy to flow into the heart. Helping you, healing you. Allow that blue flame to just soothe the heart, soothe all of your troubles and all of your anxieties, all of the depression and the worry, and not knowing where life's going to take you. All you need to worry about is where you're going to take you, not where life is going to. Throw you around. You get to decide. Halaka pata si ni ekoloko de ede, soothing any and all addictive thinking. Halaka pata si ni mantara ko da ede, ekoloko do ete de ni mantara ko da ede. I'm seeing a white bunny, like kind of hopping around in this beautiful, luscious grass. Reminds me of just like that innocence that. That loving innocence, like feeling of just being at peace, being being at rest in our souls, rest in our minds, not worrying about anything, and just he's. I just see him like hopping around in like this beautiful, luscious grass. Just looks so relaxing. Halika pati si ni mentara ko do ade, halika pati si ni kolo ko do ade. Sinema do ko do ade, pero ko do ade. Sinema do ko lo ko do ay, apatu sinema ko lo ko do ay. Ole, pus sinema lo ko do ay, ala kide sinema do lo ade. We're gonna bring in this energy into the solar plexus now. We're just gonna allow this energy to keep flowing down from the heart. Into the solar plexus. Hello, get back to cinema. Turu go day. About to cinema. Go to go day day. Just moving out any residual energies that were left behind.
and I use this guy. Just allow that energy to keep flowing into the solar plexus and into the heart. We're leaving any and all stresses, worries, anything that doesn't serve you. Feeling that energy flowing into all of your energy centers, focusing on the solar plexus. We're going to call in the healing codes of the 432 hertz. And let's call in some sunshine energy as well. The sun is yellow, solar plexus is yellow. Let's bring in that energy. So we'll call in 432 here, 432 hertz here. And allow that vibration to flow in, and then we'll call in the sun's energy and vibration. Feel the 432 here. Let's bring in that sun energy. Boom. This energy feels very light and warm and beautiful. This energy feels very healing, like, like it just feels like a vibration. It's kind of weird. This one, so yeah, we'll just bring them in. Bring them into that solar plexus. If you can just imagine that there's just beautiful yellow energy just pouring into your beautiful solar plexus. Very relaxing. Oh my gosh. We're going to move down into the soul, the sacral. Let's go down into the sacral now. Selenite. You might start feeling the selenite coming into your sacral area. Kilika patisini metalaka the waday, patisini metalako day. Tisini mo ochicha de mele lakoda a day, patakada a day, patisini metalako a day, kalaka patisini ushini metikara koro a day, kalaka day, tisitima to kolakani, kalaka asini matalako a day, patakado a day, patisini mutusini matro a day, a pate, sinimi orakoda a day, karukati, sinima to kolaka day, day, sinin koloka day, dado sinim and jakalako a day, a lake a patisini mo asini mo or day, particularly it's a new or day. Sini 
Just moving out any emotional baggage, any all any and all the emotional like worry stresses. Whenever I get anxiety, I always get it in my stomach right there. And I'm I've been working really hard in the last like week to really work through some some like um some anxieties and it's it's been right there in in the in the sacral and it's i've been clearing out some past life stuff so i think we just have to keep doing that you know all throughout this life there's just so many and so much you know not even on top of like what we're dealing with here you know in this 3d world so just allow that energy to flow through and out of the sacral. I'm use a little bit of this tourmaline here to just move out any Anything that we did not get with the selenite, just going a little bit deeper. Let's bring in the healing codes for the sacral, please. just relax and just imagine there's this beautiful bright orange light just blazing into this the sacral and just really lighting up it's almost like turning on a light and just really moving out anything that is of not of the highest good we're just going to kind of go in there and just shine a light on anything that does not serve you and transmute it all into light just allow these healing codes to come through into the sacral. Hello, Patissa Namatarakadade, Eleka Batash Namatarakadade. We're going to come into the root now. Bring that energy down into the root. Sinamalai, a patheka day, a patheka doga day, sinima lako do a day, kataka day, sinimi koroko da day, pitchini, odo a day. Kalako patasinima koroko da a day, a patasi, a patusinima tarako da a day, kataka patasinima koroko do a day, a lakati insinimata aloko da a day, ki sinimishinima to koroko da a day, palakata atasinimi koroko da a day. Calling in the healing codes for the root of the collective. Seeing like the arm symbol here. Thinking about, I'm getting a picture of an apple right now, which is really weird. I'm not sure where that's coming from. 
maybe eating fruits and veggies, getting out into nature, sitting up against a tree, finding yourself grounded and connected. Let's bring in the tree energy. I'm calling in beautiful energy of the trees, of the forest. Let's bring that energy in. Let's bring that healing code in to this healing for the root. Thank you. Halaka pata sinimata kalako day day. Whoa. I'm. I have like the energy of like the redwoods just pouring out of this hand, like the redwoods in California. If you don't know what they are, just Google it. Look up the redwoods. You will be amazed. I've only sat there for 15 minutes before I got on a plane, and it was the most relaxing, peaceful place I've ever been. So let's bring in that energy to soothe and heal your root. It looks like the big redwoods, and like the redwoods are all encoded with all of these beautiful codes coming out of them. But just allow this grounding energy to flow into the root. It feels very grounding to me. Allow these healing codes to come into the roots to heal you, to bless you, allow Mama Earth to heal you. Just allow this nature, all this beautiful natural energy to flow through you but the gini sini mata kala ko da de kada ka pa cha shina mata e sini mata kala ko da de pod wo de sini mata kala ko da de ale ka do sini matu ko lo ko da de ai sini ma ro ga de pod ko da de pod cha shina mata kala ko da de kini ko ti sini mata ro ga de Just moving out any residual energies that have been pushed up. Anything that doesn't serve you, just bring it to the surface. Allow me to have it. I'm going to transmute it. I think I'm going to ground you guys with that, with that redwood. Those redwood energies. So, we're just going to bring that energy down into your legs. Almost, if you can just imagine that you've got like these tree stumps as legs. And just bring that energy down and grow it into the earth. Should be grounded right into Mother Earth. Go ahead and just get all these residuals off of you get you back to your shiny beautiful light selves shiny beautiful gorgeous light bodies thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it has helped heal and help anybody who's going through addiction early recovery or in recovery or active addiction as always, I'm here to assist and help anybody. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. All of your beautiful comments. Oh my gosh. I just appreciate them so very much. I appreciate every one of you being here with me. I love you all so very much. If you like these videos, I always appreciate a like. And if you like these types of videos, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you know people who 
would benefit from these videos, please feel free to share. We need to heal as many people as we can, get as many people as we can on this ascension plan, on this path, so we can elevate this world, so we can all live and create and be free. It's the whole point of all of it, to be free in our minds, free in our hearts, free in our souls. I love you all so much. I'll see you next time.